clue, YouTube. Um, so recently, I've been going to uh, one of my local airports in the area for uh, a free ground school. I've been into flight swimming for about 20 years. And uh, so I thought I'd make a video on, or at least a series of videos as I go along on uh, things I learned. Um, what we're gonna learn today is how to use what they call a plotter for flight uh, planning, okay? So right here, this is what we call a sectional chart. It has your airports and various information about the airports. But the other thing that it does is it allows you for flight planning to figure out uh, the direct heading that you're supposed to fly. And that's what a, uh, a plotter is used for. <clears throat> if you notice, it has a side over here. It has nautical miles. Okay. That'll tell you how many nautical miles you are away from your uh, thing. <clears throat> And this is also another nautical mile side. So they do come in uh, different types. I bought one that has a rotating as with a pl uh, plotter. Other ones will just be stationary, so it'll be like this. And, uh, you know, so, but this rotating one actually is pretty cool according to what I got here. So, <clears throat> anyways, let's say that you're gonna take a flight from Boston. Which will probably never happen as a general aviation pilot because it's expensive. But let's say you're coming from Boston and you're going to go to a Patriots game in Mansfield. That's not Mansfield. Sorry, camera with the Patriots on me. Mansfield, right here. That's an airport. <clears throat> okay, so what you do is you want to find out the nautical miles between Mansfield and Boston <clears throat> and we'll do it this way so Boston to Mansfield is approximately a little less than 25 nautical miles we know that because it has a sectional reading which is on the top and this WAC is for a different type of chart okay the thing that you have to do after this is you have to look at the longitude lines and this is kind of hard to explain but if you see these black lines that go up they form boxes you have to line up the arrows with on the rotating part here so this is with the rotating one you have to line that up with a latitude line so i'm looking at this and there's a latitude line right there so one's parallel That tells you your true direction. And if you read this on the wheel, it says 200 degrees. So to go from Boston to Mansfield, you have a course direction of 200 degrees. That would be called true course, by the way. And then after that, for flight planning, you'd have to do all this other planning for winds and stuff. But that's how you use a planner with a sectional chart. 